Hello everybody, it is Planet Walls here. I'm flying solo today for the 1127 2013 Daily Challenge. It is indeed Thanksgiving Day. Maybe I should have played uh, the guy in the like aboriginal uh, Mayan outfit to celebrate United States Thanksgiving. Um, something that disturbed me quite a while ago uh, was how Canadians have a Thanksgiving too. Now what was weird about that to me was that it seemed like people roughly settled on... I mean, by people, I mean Europeans in this case. Uh, and I really mean non-Norse Europeans, but they settled all around the same time. Why, are, why is there a different Thanksgiving holiday? I mean, we were all part of the crown at that point, right? Like, why did the Canadians think that they needed a separate Thanksgiving? Or alternatively, why did the Americans think they did? I don't know very much about the history of American and Canadian, or United States and Canadian Thanksgiving, but um, it just always struck me as odd that there would actually be a separation. Like, what, like, why is there a difference, really? I mean, okay, the dog is probably going to be inaccessible here. That's okay. Um, so that's just a question. I mean, couldn't the Canadians have celebrated our Thanksgiving, and couldn't we have celebrated theirs? I don't know. Um, I just don't have that much at stake in a day, or a day. I mean, I don't know, maybe there was some special event that didn't involve the slaughter of Native Americans that they celebrate. I'm not really sure how it works. So, let that be a question for another time. Uh, I also am interested to talk about my experience at PAX East. Mainly, this didn't happen recently, it was this summer. But I just sort of wanted to address it. Um, I was very excited to go to PAX East. Uh, mainly because I had never been to a large gaming convention outside of Gen Con before. However, when I went there, I didn't find it very enjoyable. Um, I found it was a lot of, like, video hype machine, and it involved standing in line for two hours to play a remake of a previous AAA video game or a new AAA remake of a, you know, whatever, like Tomb Raider. I don't remember what was going on at the time. I think there were movies for... I, see, I don't know if I need to blow up a bomb here or if I do that from below. I'm going to try to do it from below, but that could be a risky proposition. Anyway, uh, basically I'm just after the key there. So, what I essentially felt... Let's see, there was like a... Grand Theft Auto V may have had a... I don't know, a booth? I'm not sure about that. We are going to go down... I think the way to do this is to go right here... Yeah, we'll do that. Hopefully that means I won't need a... Yeah, good. I was going to say I won't need a rope to get back out. Okay, there's a jetpack over there. Um, so maybe going over there first is ideal. Killing the shopkeeper and then coming back up. And I can start planning on ghosting some things. Um, but anyway, I found it to be a lot of hype. And I guess if you have a lot of money, maybe that's something you want to do. Um, okay, good. We got it. We took care of this guy. Um, I just found myself not really enjoying it because I don't like just playing a video game for five minutes. I don't really feel I can get a sense of it. Uh, I like, I appreciate story in video games a lot of the time. I think it at least sets up an atmosphere to make a game worth playing. That being said, I recognize Splunky has minimal, minimal of any story. Um, and I do very much like this game, mainly based on the mechanics, though also its sense of humor, uh, which is a bit perverse at times. But with that said, so there were a number of games. I tried to hang out the indie booths uh, a little bit. They were a little bit depressing, frankly, because there was, like, no one there, even though, like, the games looked to be a little bit, in general, uh, more interesting. I say in general because there were some really horrible and, like, racist-seeming games that seemed to just be solely based on, I don't know, like, they were just trying to hype the shit out of them. They cost 30 bucks to make, and if they sold, like, 100 copies, they'd make a profit. Uh, that sort of disturbed me. Uh, there was a Happy Wheels booth, which was funny. Um... I mean, I don't have that, like, big of an attachment to Happy Wheels. I think it's another clever game with a good sense of humor. Um, and allowing it to be almost, like, goofily uh, community, uh, like, crowdsourced for level design is really funny because, like, the kids who play it are so ridiculous. Um, this is basically all to say I'm hopefully not going to get killed by this ghost. That's what I'm trying to say. Um... Why am I... Okay, that was almost a disaster. Let's let's not fuck this up. I'm feeling, like, really nervous around the ghost for some reason. Because probably I so frequently die around it. We're going to go through this, and I'm going to break these webs. 
so I can proceed through quickly at a later point. Um, I think I am going to get the idol. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to throw a rope up here, even though it shouldn't be necessary. What I was hoping is that exactly something like this would happen, where it would open up additional pathways for me to hang out around the ghost. Um, I'm just going to grab that. The reason being, I didn't think I had a good way to ghost it safely. Um, and there's another green gem, actually, in one corner, way up in the top right. Uh, I might still get that, but I might just leave it. I don't really need the 800. I would like to turn it into 5,000, but it might be too big of a pain in the ass to be worthwhile. Yeah, that's what I'm starting to think. Like, do I want to sit up here to get 5,000? Eh, you know, I guess. I guess so. I guess that sort of makes sense. Uh, yeah. So let's, let's lure him away. Anyway, so PAX East. I found it to be a lot of standing in lines. I actually found the Wizards of the Coast display to be one of the better ones. Essentially what they were advertising at the time was uh, uh, Duels of the Planeswalkers for the iPad, which I found to be a really intuitive uh, way to play that game Since for, for a competitive Magic player. Um, like, if you're a Magic Online player, in general, you're going to be sort of beyond playing Duels of the Planeswalkers, uh, except casually. And that's fine. I've played it. I've played it casually. Uh, the experience doesn't really feel like magic to me, which is okay. Uh, it feels like, more like a board game, and I think that that's fine. That might be what they're going for. I don't hate it. Uh, I found it on the iPad to be really workable, though in some ways the control scheme probably hadn't been worked out perfectly yet. Um, so anyway, that's all a long story. My point was, I kind of found the whole experience to be... Um, not worth the money. Now, maybe if I were a wealthy guy who owned every possible console, I would feel differently. Uh, maybe if I... Cool, we get paste here. Maybe if I, um, I don't know, cared about hype and stuff. <laughs> I know that's a silly way to put it. I don't think there's any way to not get that gem. I'm going to leave that there for possible ghosting. Uh, we've got the jetpack from the get-go here, so I'm in pretty good shape to ghost. Uh, I would still like the Kapala soon. Let's not... Yeah. I was going to say, let's not fly into those spikes somehow. Um, this is funny. Yeah, let's let that happen. Good. Um, now we've got a vault. We unfortunately... <laughs> Shit. Okay, okay. It's okay. That, that wasn't the end of the world. Um, that was a little scary, though, how I got caught in that web. Um, so we've got a kissing parlor down here. A vault and a third guy. I hate it when they're in this position. Um, I'm going to probably throw another bomb after this one. Shit. Okay, good. Hitting that guy was the most important to me. Um, so I think the next thing we're going to want to do is go in here. Because I want to see what's in that... Oh, that was stupid. That was very stupid. Um, I was going to say I want to see what's in this crate. Um, and I eventually might want to take a trip to Vault Land. Um, ropes is not what I had in mind, but that's... Uh, I shouldn't have gotten that either. Um, yeah, so I, I, I made some mistakes there. That's okay. Worst things have happened. I would like to ghost that Vault, but I'm not sure how to make it happen. Because this guy... Uh, okay, let's... Yeah, we just gotta get him out. Yeah, there he goes. Um. Good. Uh, I knew that if I stuck that corpse, I would be in good shape. We were going to take this dog to the exit and feel very happy about that. Now, to allow myself some flexibility, I am going to fly over to this side of the map. Because I kind of want this dickhole to shoot that other treasure chest open. So if the ghost does come... Uh, yeah, we're going to blow a bunch of bombs here. That's okay. Uh, here we go. Okay, that didn't work according to plan. I wanted to... Okay, he's dead. Now, okay, good, good. Uh, this is where I really wish that, uh, that stone block hadn't fallen, you know, right where it fell. Um, yeah, I'm gonna pop this, uh, web, too. I don't like that there. Um, 
Okay, I keep forgetting that I don't have climbing gloves. Man, recovering the dog there is an extra bonus. Um, I feel pretty good about that. Okay, so the goal here is going to be to move as quickly as possible. Get this shit. Get the fuck out. Yeah, that's the stuff. Now, I left a couple of gems up here. I'm probably not going to want to ghost them since this level is sort of enclosed. Uh, I think I just might want to get them and get out. That'll probably be what I do here. Oh, shit. Okay, uh, that was very close. <laughs> uh, come on, buddy. All right, good, good. We're okay. Uh, I like to play that uh, really riskily. I hate that word. I don't even know if it is one. Um, let's uh, blast out of here. Anyway, got my night coffee. Take another swig. Um, day before American Thanksgiving, as I said. I hope everybody's enjoying their uh, shitty holiday. Uh, never really had a thing for Thanksgiving. Uh, other holidays I've had things for, eh, kind of. I used to get very excited about Christmas when I was a kid. Um, don't really so much anymore. If I had kids of my own, I might. Um, but I don't. Uh, at least not now. Um, yeah, alright. You, fuck you, fuck you. That's what I want the kid to hear when he's in utero. I want him to hear me splunking. Alright, so there is a dog up there. I, I did note that. Um, yeah, we can toss this down there. No problem with that. Um, here we're gonna shoot a snake on a snake, which was not my plan all along, but worked... Uh, quite well. Uh, we've got a crate down there and some action over there. Is there any way that I can make all this shit happen without blowing any or at least through many bombs? Possibly. Um, again, we've got another shopkeeper in an awkward location. Um, okay, we blew up a bunch of shit. I don't like where he is. Uh, let's make every possible object, obstacle rather, go away. Um, okay, good. I don't like this setup at all. Um, I'm very worried about aggroing this guy. Yeah. I kind of was nervous about what positions he might end up in. Okay, let's see what we're dealing with here. Uh, that was a web gun in the crate, so I certainly don't give a fuck about that. Um... I wouldn't mind taking the dog down here, but I'm not sure how I'm going to pull that off. I also don't even know if I'm going to kill that guy. Um, what else was I going to say about PAX East? I found it to be sort of a ripoff. Uh, that's that's where I'll stick with that. Um, not sure how I feel about those conventions. Uh, I might have had additional complaints about it that I can no longer remember. I met um, the Loading Ready Run guys who, you know, contribute stuff to... Uh, to uh, our website, but they didn't appear to... Well, Graham recognized me. Kathleen was like, who the hell is this guy again that we apparently uh, somehow work with? Yeah, let's GTFO here. Um, so that was sort of funny. I also looked like a homeless person when I showed up there. Uh, so maybe Blackie, that's what you're talking about in the Happy Wheels video. It makes me feel uncomfortable saying your name. Uh, okay, we're going to pay for our crimes early because there's a vault there. What the hell else happened? My guess is... The guy at the exit got killed by a tiki trap, and Vault Keeper was like, Holy fuck, I'm scared because my shopkeeper brethren uh, are in trouble. Come on, buddy. Oh, come on. Just shit. Let's fucking kill that thing. Okay, we've got... Okay, that's. I'm okay with the way that turned out. Uh, I'm also okay with the prospect of this happening, and I'm kind of in the mood to do it now. Uh, by this, what I mean is... Blowing the shit out of this. Yeah, we're gonna have to do this here. Alright. Let's the two of us make this happen. I was gonna say, let's me and the captain make this happen. That's what we wanted to see. Alright. This shit's gotta get ghosted. Um, it's kinda awkward the way it's sitting right now. That's okay. Uh, do we see any vault or any black mark up there? No, not really. Um... We can cope with that. So far, I've wasted a few more bombs than I would hope, but everything is... Holy shit! Everything is pretty much going to plan. I say that very hesitantly. Um, okay, yeah, we can pick that up. I'm not going to ghost this. We're just going to be ghosting the vault, because ghosting is pretty stressful. This is what I expected. Um, 
it's kind of odd that there's that spider bouncing around there. I think what that means, I could be wrong about this. I think what that means, though, is that a pot broke from the Tiki Trap or the shotgun guy. Are we going to go in here and rescue this dog? I think we might do that. Okay, we killed one fish, two fish, red fish, uh, something old, something blue, something borrowed, something new. Okay, good. Um, let's take this guy and throw him on a tongue. Every trip we make is just a little closer to death. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Alright, so let's pick this up. Where do we want to be standing? Here? I'm probably not going to get that, uh, I mean, I could spend a rope to crawl down and get the gem that is eventually going to turn into a uh, diamond here. I mean, I guess a rope is worth 5,000. But I'm very scared to even hit the buttons there. Yeah, we did it. Makes me a little nervous. I'm not sure which way this ghosty's coming from. I actually hope he's coming from the right in retrospect. Um, is he? She? Is she? Okay, good. Pick up that. Immediately swing down. Come on, hit those. Okay, good. Um, most of those gems were hit. That's a satisfactory ghosting in my book. Um, this, however, is a little bit more anxiety-inducing because I'm not sure the angle. Okay, looks like we managed that okay. Uh, you know what? Let's just climb slowly. Pick up the uh, gems. We, we could have ghosted a little bit more efficiently there, but I'm pretty pleased with the way it went. Uh, and I think it's time to, uh, blast out of this pop stand. We're gonna finish this guy off so he doesn't create a problem in this Tiki Trap Zone. Let's roll. I didn't see any BM there, so... Uh, yeah, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze, you know? That could happen. <coughs> it happened right now. Um, uh, I don't think it's gonna be a twofer, so let's, uh... Unpause and fire at this guy. Nice! I don't know if that was cheating. I uh, didn't intend to sneeze there. Uh, we don't have to worry about a vault, but we do have to worry about the black market. And we are missing a lot of items that I would like to have. Um, among them are Jesus. Uh, I mean, everybody would like their own little Jesus, but uh, that's not one of the items I was referring to. Uh, I was referring to, like, pitcher's mitt, climbing gloves, uh, spike shoes. Let's just pick this up. I was going to say maybe spring shoes, too. Um compass we have, but I don't really care about it that much. Yeah, sure. Um, Alright, so we got a crate down there. We got an opportunity for spring shoes. Uh, this makes me a little anxious, but let's kill him. Alright, so this I don't care for. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'm nervous about this. That's what I wanted to happen. I wanted to eliminate the frog, and we did. And now we've got this fish. Okay, we've got him going left to right in a serious way so we can eliminate him. Um, not going to worry about ghosting these particular areas. That's stressing me out a little bit. Might ghost those, all these gems sitting next to each other, though? Probably not. Um, how many bombs do I want to spend here? Is there a place where I can drop the bomb where I can... I don't think there is. Let's go ahead and do this. Really, I want some Kapala action, and I want to make sure I'm not missing the black market. That's what my those that's what my primary concerns are. I don't see a Kapala option here. So we're going to go down here. I'm going to say fuck these things. Pick all this shit up. Um, could I be missing the Kapala? Yes, possibly. Uh, where is the shotgun? I'm sorry, not Kapala. Uh, black market. Uh, my wife is standing confusingly in front of me. Becky, what's up? Just looking for something? Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. I had to pause for a second to help uh, Becky look for something, but we are back in business now. I am just looking for any signs of black market that I missed or an altar to sacrifice something on. But I don't believe such things exist here. I think we're going to find the black market on the next level. Kind of unfortunately, because I like to get it out of the way. Um... And then we're going to move on. All right. Let's do it, I guess. Um, kind of a low item run. Jetpack, good, but not much else in the way of uh, utility items to speak of. Okay, good. So the black market is here. Um, let's 
stop for a second and just look for it by eye. Is it up here? No, I don't think so. It must be down there, I guess. Um, that's okay. There is a there is a an altar here. That's good news. Um, let's see if we can find enough shit to sacrifice on it. I hope I didn't kill that flower. Okay, good, I didn't. Because I would like to throw the flower onto the altar very quickly. Those flowers, uh, they are fuckers. Um, they pop up very quickly. Okay, the uh, black market is in here. That's fine. Uh, let's deal with this chimp. Alright, where do I want to put this? Here? Probably. Uh, let's put it in the perp- uh, I didn't quite put it where I wanted it to. That's okay. Yeah, cause now- Why the heck is that tiki trap floating without a- That's not supposed to happen. Uh, that tiki trap is floating without a, uh, piece of land to stand on. That's kind of frustrating, cause that makes no sense whatsoever, and it also endangers me quite a bit. Uh, alright. Uh, so, we're gonna hunt for, uh, the dog, I guess, uh, and that's what we're gonna, oh yeah, this asshole, okay, um, hmm, I hear the dog whimpering, it would be good if we could get the dog, I think, um, uh, man, that guy can just run right through, okay, we hit him once, that's pretty good. Oh, shit! Did he just get hit by a snail bubble? Yeah! That's it, man! You're done! Alright. Let's make this fish pop up. Okay, good. Let's just not, uh, get greedy and fuck up here. I've noticed that being not greedy has greatly improved my play in general, my results. That's something that I kind of want to hide from Becky. Shit! Alright, so we have a shotgun that we have to take, but right now I'm taking the dog up to the altar. Um, it looks like we're not going ah! Okay, we didn't take the dog to the altar. Um, that was... I don't know if that was instinct or accident. Not quite sure how to frame it, but it's certainly a disappointment. Um, so now we... This is stressful because of that bizarre tiki trap floating in air, but that's okay. Um, now we're on the black market. Maybe we could add climbing gloves. But we do have a little slave that will hopefully kill that frog for us. Thank you. Okay. Yep. That was bound to happen. Um, I'm okay if you guys go down there. Like, you know, if you follow your buddy, that would be okay. Um, no, no, don't come back. Yeah, yeah, go with that. No, don't come back. Is he going to do the exact same thing? There we go. All right. Good. So it doesn't appear they'll be able to come back up. Uh... Pick up a lot of bombs. We have, you know, another compass in case we wanted that. Hopefully, uh, we didn't miss our only time to... Uh, that's kind of weird. Now that's going to blow up that whole area. Maybe allowing that other shopkeeper out. Don't much care for that. Uh, but they can go party together as far as I'm concerned. And kill each other, hopefully. Um, that was bad, probably. Okay. Uh, that was certainly bad. Now they definitely can get... Oh, that man! I knew he was going to be a problem. Wait, what happened to him? They're dead? How'd that fucking happen? They shoot each other at the exact same time? Oh, okay. That was, uh... Pretty fucking scary. Good. Um, I don't think we have to worry about any more gentlemen up here, though that could certainly be wrong. Uh, we still are missing, uh, spike shoes, which maybe we would have gotten from Kali, if I hadn't fucked up the dog. Um, a lot of bombs in there. We're gonna have to get that. Maybe the way to go is to send, uh, those guys to hell with my super Matic powers. That makes no sense, but I will take the Matic down here as quickly as possible and start plugging into the ground. Um, okay, that's fine. What's in here? Let's look. More bombs. That's good. Uh, that's fine. Dog, whatever. Um, Kinda, I'm a little nervous about this. 
Uh, but that worked. I, oh, he doesn't have a gun. Alright. Where the fuck is the last one? He's down there. Okay, that's fine. Let's pick this shit up. I get him? Yes! Okay, I feel pretty good about the way all that turned out. I'm getting pretty efficient. I was going to say sufficient, pretty sufficient. Yeah, I guess that works. Um, efficient is what I was going for, though. And murdering shopkeepers, and I don't mind killing these guys, too. Um, we do have a ghost coming. I don't care about bringing that dog to the exit, because nine health is probably not going to matter. Um, I think it's time to leave. I'm not taking the Matic with me. I guess that would be a super greed option. Not sure. Um, we move on to the ice caves, sands, spike shoes, and there is a fuckhead right here. Okay. Um. Yep. I knew that was going to happen to the dog. So be it. All right. Now we start ghosting like a madman, though the position of that UFO worries me a great deal. We cannot bounce on top of everything here because of... Uh-huh. That was worrisome. All right. Maybe there will be spike shoes in that crate? Maybe? Please? Uh, how about we pick this up? Okay. Now it's going to be a little interesting getting that crate. It's fine. Yeah, you go to hell. No, bombs. But that's okay. We've got a lot of bombs. Um... Those up. Yeah. Alright, we need to figure out a way to kill this mammoth. This is. Okay, that's fine. We almost pushed him off, which I've never seen or done before. Alright, good. Uh, this guy, we can't kill him in one hit, which is a little awkward. Alright, please, spike shoes. More billions bombs. Okay. A shotgun. That's interesting. Okay. All right, good. Took care of that man. This UFO. Met his maker. Okay, some explosions. Okay, let's stop just narrating things that are happening and start focusing on what we're going to have to do. Uh, we're going to have to murder this guy. That will be okay. Um, the shopkeeper is dead over here. Not sure what happened to him, but I am fine with his demise having occurred. Okay, there's another mammoth over here that worries me. I think he's dead, and he shot out, or shit out, or shat out a freeze ray. All right, so here are the things we want to do. Want to send our gun over there. Want to take this, drop it off. Okay, we want the ghost to come from where? It is hard to maneuver right now. Uh, I guess over here to get those. It's just a high number of gems. Jeez, slippery. Um... After that, there's some other gems up there I would like to pick up, and I think ghosting them is worthwhile. Walking on snow is safe. Um, alright. Come on, buddy. Where do we want to go from here? Probably get a bunch of the green gems, the emeralds that are up here. Because they're only worth, like, 500 by themselves. Okay, so let's do this. Um, this position worries me a bit. We're going to go ahead and just get these things. Okay, yeah, let's not let that fucker kill me. Really wish I had climbing gloves too. Though it does, I have to say, not having climbing gloves makes it a lot easier to maneuver in some circumstances. As I know people have uh, commented about, it's very true um, that it's often harder to maneuver uh, without, I mean, with, with the climbing gloves. Okay, I'm actually going to go up here. I think that's probably the smart thing to do. Um, pick this up. Okay, that's fine. Let's head down here. Yeah, I don't mind Mrs. Ghost, Ms. Ghost, Miss, Dr. Ghost, not sure. Um, I can't operate on this person. He's my son. Um, all right, good. Got those things. Uh, yeah, let's pick this up while we're remembering to do that. Okay, this gem, fuck that. We're just picking it up. All right, I think things are turning out well. Yeah, sure. Why not uh, shoot that? I mean, see no reason why not to. Okay, this is worrisome because it's super slippery. Um, hmm. No climbing gloves. 
Okay, I uh, almost died there because I forgot that that jump pad was there and that would have launched me right into the ghost and then my heart would have stopped beating and I would have been very sad for a few minutes. Um, all right, I'm gonna go over again and then come back around and pick up those last pair of diamonds. Uh, that last pair, pair is singular, but it's a collective noun. Hoojax, what's in vogue now in terms of collective nouns? I prefer to treat them as a singular when they're a singular, like the team did this, not the team, uh, or I, the team, they, the team does this rather than the team do this. That's, I don't know, maybe that's just personal preference. Uh, we're still looking for a vault here. Um, this makes, no, why do something so dumb? Okay, put this right here. There we go. Now we made an emerald from nothing. Uh, I've got a lot of bombs though, so that's probably not my biggest concern, making emeralds from nothing. Uh, Okay. Yeah, let's just eliminate every possible threat. Uh, okay, there's a vault here. There's that UFO that I am very concerned about. Okay, not anymore. Good. Uh, we still don't have the Kapala, which I know I've discussed plenty. And the big stone head, could it be on this level? I don't see it right now. I do see a man down there. Um, I think the best way to probably do this is to... Hmm, actually not sure. I would love to kill that guy down there with just regular bombs. The way I would do that is by doing exactly what I'm doing. I get a bonus. Oh, the gold just flew off, but that's okay. Okay, so that man is dead for sure. And we want these chests very open. Uh, is, I guess, what the pornographer said. Oh, God! I wasn't sure he had actually come down, but he had. All right. So, gems are in a couple of different spots. I think that's okay. Okay, let's not fall and hurt ourselves here. Okay, picked up some gems like an idiot. Didn't mean to do that. That's okay. Worst things have happened. Let's fly really quickly. All right. Set a shotgun there. And we're going to take this. There is no big stone head, as far as I can tell. Uh, the implication is that we do not want to die. Um, set this here. Let me not be an idiot here. Okay, there we go. I do want to take care of this before I go do anything else. Um, the dog was in a particularly bizarre spot, right? I remember... Wait, was there a, an altar earlier that I missed because, like, the dog was stuck in a box and then I never mined him out with the Matic? I think that's the case. So me not having the Kapala is very likely my own stupid-ass fault. All right, well, we can cope with that. Good. This guy's going to be coming from over here. We're going to, as soon as we see the ghost, yeah, let's move over here. Immediately fall. Yeah, we're not going to get him in time. Um... Not sure. Really? Just wanted to be a little safer that I wouldn't do something like that later. All right. Up and add them. Uh, it's fine. He can get this gem. She can. Sorry. I always accidentally wrongly gender the ghost. Um, not sure why. Ooh, we were able to pick up that gem. This makes me a little nervous, but we were able to pull it off. Can I do this? This makes me very nervous. Um, but actually, it was completely fine. Okay, so I now have myself to blame for any Kapala lack, I think, now that I'm remembering what happened many a level ago. Uh, and in the meantime, we just want to be sure that we live through her. Um, I don't mean that we're going to go through her. There's that Family Guy joke. It's one of the few jokes I like in Family Guy. Actually, there are some jokes that I certainly don't mind in Family Guy. Um, but the one is when, like, he walks through the ghost and he's like, eh, we had sex. I, I kind of like that. Oh, okay, that's going to explode. All right, now this UFO is going to come up. Come on, buddy. Nope. All right. Okay. Uh, nothing over here except a, some gold bars, so we have no problem picking those up. Uh, I don't much care for what's... Shouldn't have gotten that. Probably shouldn't get that, but I'm kind of tempted to just do it. But I think I've got to die on this level. Yeah, good. Um... 
Okay, no big gems in there, so whatever. Probably gonna want to take this dog to the exit. Uh, don't much care for this, actually. Okay, come on. Okay, good. That worked out exactly how it played in my fantasies. And I do, uh, as I imagine most of you expect, have sexual fantasies about Splunky. It's just a fact. I think it um, happens if you played for a while. Uh, it's just the way things go. All right, come on, shoot that. Uh, what the fuck? These gems are all in shitty spots. Okay, send this one to hell. Okay, let's take care of Mr. Shopkeeper. Um, pick up whatever he's got on offer. I don't really want to spend a bomb on him. Jesus. Um, let's see. Yeah, we can just uh, almost kiss him. That's fine. Okay, good. So he's gone. We didn't pick up his gold, but that's okay. Let's just uh, plan on ghosting a bunch of gems that are hovering right around where... Okay, fine. That was... I basically traded a diamond for a tiny $150 chunk of gold. If that ends up costing me the gold medal, I don't really care that much. Um, all right, time to next step is take care of this dog, because we would like to start out our new life with the Ankh with five health. Uh, I certainly wouldn't mind anyway. Um, then you can get hit by Tiki Trap and live, which is a very important thing in this game. Uh, all right, so pick this up. Do we want to ghost this shit? We're almost at 500,000 already, so I'm actually inclined to ghost it. Yeah, we'll pick this up. All right, should I be up here? Prep for ghost. I... I don't know. Time's ticking. Into the future. Uh, come on. Do I have to... Okay, that's what we wanted to happen. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, I didn't ghost that particular area. I think that's okay. Just let him come, let her come. Jesus, I always fuck up the ghost gender. Sorry, ghost. I don't mean any uh, offense to women or men by that. Um, not sure how either of you would take offense to me mislabeling a ghost. Maybe it's just, I mean, normally a ghost's master status is ghost. Uh, if it's a woman ghost, it doesn't really change its master status for me. Um, I don't think of ghosts as she's. I actually do think of a default ghost like this as a he. Um, but that's just the way things go. I am curious why ghosts... Somebody probably knows this. Uh, one, of, one of the commenters, uh, one of the friends of the channel. I bet you know why ghosts are often illustrated as in like a white, loose-fitting cloak. Is this from like... Um, I almost said a Christmas story, but I mean, I mean a Christmas carol. Uh, is it because of that? Is that the origin of that sort of ghost? Or is it much earlier? Wouldn't shock me if it were earlier, but it wouldn't shock me if it weren't. Um, let's see here. What do we have going on? We have another gem, right? Yeah, there we go. Um, okay, so let's just stay clear of that head. Make sure she comes and gets me over here. Um, all right. Yes, yeah, so we have a minute to ponder this. Because I do feel like that ghost is wearing a long cloak, and it feels like it's a woman dressed up as a male ghost. I mean, I'm not sure what a woman ghost would look like when have, like, bow in its hair, even though this one does. I'm, I just don't, I don't know off the top of my head. Uh, we will trade the Ankh for the Hedget now. Apparently, in the original uh, free version of the game, the Hedget keeps the ghost from spawning, which is a pretty handy device then. Um, we are out one shotgun. Oh, that, that's good. Wow, this is like fucking Yeti paradise over here, and there's tons of shit exploding. Um, if I can pick up that shotgun, you know what I'm going to do. All right, we just murdered two Yetis, and I feel very good about it. Um, picked up ropes, which I feel less good about, I would say. Um, no UFO guarding the UFO. There is this shitty alien down here, though. Uh, I often find an altar below UFOs. Um, but here, is there one? No. Um, that does worry me, though. This guy. I'm not sure how I'm going to deal with him. Um, I could throw a bomb there. I think that's going to be my plan. Uh, but the bomb appears to be down by an asshole. Um, and we missed the asshole. 
Um, how can I deal with that asshole? Well, let's try throwing this at him. Will this work? Not if I miss. Um, all right, come on. Let's uh, figure out a way to deal with an asshole. Uh, what do you do when you see an asshole? Wild asshole. Um, you could throw a Yeti at it. I mean, I think that makes sense. Um, you could throw a treasure chest at it. An empty treasure chest, even. Uh, we can't jump that guy again because we don't have uh, spike shoes. What about this? Can we... He's all, all the way over there now. Okay. Oh, that's right. We've got, um... Uh... Hmm. Okay, he held on to his gun. That's what I was kind of afraid of. Uh, now he's... Now he's just gonna fall and we're gonna lose the shotgun. Yeah, there he goes. Okay. So no shotgun. Um, that's unfortunate. Makes me much less inclined to ghost the mothership. Or even go there. Um, let alone ghost it. So that's a loss. Uh, because I do like... I, I consider ghosting the mothership to be my signature move. If I mean, I don't really consider myself to have a signature move in this game, but... If I did, it would probably be that. Um, so, is, is it possible to say that you don't have a signature move, but if you did, it would be something? I think it just means you think you have a signature move. I mean, that's me basically admitting to myself that I'm a turd. I would like to carry a rock or something through the exit, but I'm not seeing any... Uh, just fuck it. Um, we're going. We are not going to ghost the mothership with no shotgun. That is suicide. So time to move on to the temple. I think those ice caves could have gone a little bit better. Could have ended up with a shotgun here. Now we're in a little bit more trouble at this point. If we run into Anubis early. Ooh, we do see this asshole. So I don't know why he got mad at me. Um, I will throw a bomb here to access two crates safely. That seems like the right play. Um, ropes, of course. And a parachute, of course. All right, so... That was unhelpful. What's down here? Crushing traps to end the run prematurely? Um, maybe, if we're lucky. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'll throw... Or, yeah, we'll pick you up just in case we need you. Any secret crushing traps in the corner? None that I see. Hey, there's a dick! Uh, we just killed that thing. All right, now how do we deal with this motherfucker? If I throw a bomb there, that should free him. Yeah. Uh, come on, move over to that bomb. I think I hit him. Might not have. That definitely appeared to hit him. Oh, fuck you. Alright, good. He's fucking dead. Alright, good. Uh, still no spike shoes. That makes dealing with mummies a real pain in my asshole. But, uh, you know, that's a common complaint about mummies. Please hit that. Alright. Well, that's Crushing Trap Central. What's going on over here again? A man inside the vault. Okay, that problem is resolved. Now we have to go back to Crushing Trap Central. Yep, here we are. I'll throw that there. We're gonna bomb that Crushing Trap because... Really? Ugh. Okay, come on. I really would have liked it to kill that Parrot Man too. Um, it's fine, I guess. This is gonna kill the dog for sure. Christ. Come on! Yes! I am shocked that that worked. Alright. What's going on here? We were going to have a ghost that we really want to be up there. This is something we might want to find a way to get, but it is not a priority compared to ghosting a vault, I would say. Um, yeah. So let's Get ready to ghost this area. Let's make sure all this shit falls down. That's... Okay, fine. Um, alright. Good, whatever. Um, ghost, come over here and make me get this stuff. Alright, where do I want to go? I think I want to go up. This is... feels very dangerous. I would... I would definitely say this feels very dangerous. Um, okay, yeah, we'll get that stuff. Now we'll go over here. It's a good thing that corpse is there and the tiki traps are attracted to corpses. I mean, they're not like necrophiliacs, that's not what I'm saying. Just whatever their mechanism, however, works. 
really likes a good corpse. Uh, it's time to go. We're not picking up the idol. Uh, I could have gone for it, but I think it would have just been a mess. I would have had to bomb in multiple locations to make sure I could get out safely. Uh, here, uh, we are going to want to kill this guy and get out of the way of the... Okay, it didn't come back to hit me. It makes me nervous to go over here, but I think I'm going to do it. Um, I think that crate is potentially valuable because we're still missing a lot of items. Uh, and a bomb bag is always fine. Okay, just stay the hell away from me, guys. All right. Um, gold and rubies everywhere. Uh, there's a dead dog there. Okay. Let's not ever go up there again. And actually, I might want to keep the scepter long enough to kill a man. Uh, this is unnerving, but we did okay. All right, we need to watch out for mummies and crushing traps. I was going to say that hallway looks like a, a crushing trap wants to be there. Oh, Jesus, that fucking made me so nervous. Um, is this... Yep. Felt that coming. Uh, took care of that crushing trap. Alright, there is a lava pit. Always. Also unnerving with a tiki trap on the wall. That's okay. The tiki trap is responding to the lava men that are oozing out. Let's kill... Yeah, exactly. Um, men are like magnets for those pink things. Mummies and the undead are not. Dogs are also like magnets for them. Whatever has a modicum of intelligence can be eaten by one of those uh, rings of death. You just want to take advantage of that. Scorpions do not have a modicum of intelligence, hence they're not getting eaten. Uh, now we'll have to deal with that scorpion again, unfortunately. Uh, now we don't. Okay, yeah. Screw the whole lot of you. There are a lot of corpses around the... Fuck you. Oh my god. Don't come get me with your momentum. Alright, we want to kill the man who's over here. And we did. So now we want to take this all the way back up. This is my least favorite part of doing that, right there. And we want to put this in the hole, uh, which is uh, what he and she said. And we're going to take this and put it in the hole. All right, good. So now we want to get that shotgun, which is all the way back at the bottom. Because that's not quite essential, but pretty close to it. Um, we're not hitting these gems, so I can hopefully ghost them. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Is there a crushing trap over here? Don't see one. Fuck it. All right. So now we go this way, and we pick up these. Is this a gem? No. Uh, all right. So here's our first chance to ghost. I think what I want to do is get all the way right down here. When he gets very, very close. She, she, she gets very close. God damn it, that's just one. All right, come on, think about this. Think about this. Okay, good. We did it. We did it. Step one, done. Um, I'm feeling like a little bit of a puss. Uh, you know, like a little kitten. So I think what I'm going to do is... Um, okay, never mind. He's going to ghost those for me as is. All right. I was going to say I was just going to ignore that, but he took care of that. She! She! God damn it. Sorry for being insensitive to the gender of undead specters. Um, you know, it's just... They say that it gets easier to be inclusive when you know uh, the people with whom you're dealing very well. And I am not very familiar with ghosts. We're going to say fuck that jump. Let's go to the city of gold. We've got a lot of bombs. I think we could mine out this whole motherfucker. Um, so we're going to try and do that. I am going to be very liberal with these. We're going to try to destroy every possible... Uh, that was a bad one, but... Anything that could get in our way, we're going to kill, if you know what I mean. That could blow up the... It did not blow up the... Good. That's awesome. Um, let's hope for no more uh, floating tiki traps. I don't like that one bit. The fuck is up with that shit? Um, so many teaks. All right. Yeah, that's right. What are you going to do about that, fucker? That was a bad bomb. Uh, maybe I'm being a little too liberal with these. Um... Got multiple crates over here, huh? Okay. I can get behind that. Uh, alright. So... Okay. What do we have in there? Bombs and another parachute, huh? That's what I was, uh, that's really what I was hoping for. Alright. Set this right there. Uh, arrow trap, huh? I'll tell you what I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna fucking throw my... God, another dog has died. 
Okay, that didn't need to happen, apparently. Alright. We are still lacking uh, spike shoes, but we were able to deal with that okay. Um, yeah, that guy can run around to his heart's content. Uh, Alright. Okay. One more should do this mummy in a second time. For good! I'll do you in for good! Alright, uh, send that there. Sure, why not? Hey, you! Get over here next to that bomb. Good! Uh, okay, good. That started getting me worried a little bit. Still got 29 of these motherfucking bombs. Uh, we might need to take care of uh, a what's its face shopkeeper but we also might not need to what i'm what i'm going for here actually is speed above everything else uh that firefly in the corner is probably gonna be very difficult for me to get um, yeah let's just have that mum walk on that thing okay we just like killed all the fireflies imaginable with gems that shot out of a mummy um so be it Oh, God. Okay, that's fine. Hopefully the ghost comes over here, ghost that shit. Uh, let's make sure there is no possible vestige of lava for uh, fuckers to come out of. Now! We have to worry about a shopkeeper over here? No, because he's dead! Okay, good. So now we're just dealing with lots of rubies and fucking gems everywhere, and I don't want to die doing something stupid. That man can go over there. Yeah, there we go. All right. Um... So, what do we do now? Because going up is always harder than going down, I think. Uh, yeah, this area. Let's, I say, let's not do something stupid. And then I'm like, hey, let's dance around fucking volcano here. Uh, Alright, so, we've got 16 more bombs. I am willing to go down to like 6, maybe fewer even. Um... I should probably really start thinking about the most efficient places to put them, and also ghosting. Um, okay, let's go back up. Make sure to hit these. Still no climbing gloves! You'll note that, uh, I can't really, quote-unquote, refuel with my jetpack in the same way I would like to. Um, just the way it is. Um, the way it is now. That's a great Mark Knopfler song. Um, I listen to a lot of lame music. That's one of the lame musics I would highly advocate. Um, let's not die, uh, here. Uh, or, um, yeah, let's just, uh, almost die there. That's okay. Why not? Uh, come on. Hit that, hit that ruby. Okay, good. Alright. I think I'm handling this pretty well so far, if I say so myself. I'm not sure who else would say that. I don't understand that saying, by the way. If I can say so myself, or should I say so myself? Who the hell else would say it? Um... I'm worried that that thing's going to come down and... Yeah, okay, good, it didn't. Uh, sure, we got a parachute on accident. That's fine. Uh, we're at 14, huh? Yeah, you know what? Fuck that shit. Can't imagine a situation in which those things would hit me, but... You know, just in case. Alright, uh, sure. Let's blow that up, because it's already near the exit. Um, I see that gem in there. I suppose I could get that. I want to just sort of clean up everything that I could have gotten but have not yet. Um, okay, that's like a pretty primo spot. Now, what about like in between some of these blocks? I think that's probably a good idea. I don't know if I perfectly did the one. Um, that's okay. It's not the end of the world if I don't maximize everything I could get here. I would like to, but um, you know, I, I, I have a feeling everybody's doing this right now. Anybody who's anybody in the Splunky world is doing this right now. Um, yeah, sure. Because that's going to break the Tiki trap. And it's going to make a lot of shit fly out. I'll have to check up there again in a minute. Um, Alright. Hmm. Can I actually pick up that gem? Will it get ghosted here? Uh, no. Unless I do this. Yeah, we can ghost it. That's awesome. Alright. Uh, there are fewer platforms now, and again, because of the lack of climbing gloves, it is becoming increasingly difficult to quote-unquote refuel. Um, 
That's okay. I'm at my six bomb limit, actually. That's where I said I would stop uh, for safety concerns on the Olmec fight. Because sometimes you want to pick up other items in the top of Olmec's lair. He's got some, you know, good shit that he's been hoarding. I'm not sure what he needs to do with a pair of spike shoes since he's a deity and all that. I mean, purported deity. He might just be some kind of commie or animal spirit. Um, that's okay. We're gonna get ourselves out of the city of gold. Oh, saw some gold hiding behind that man's ass. Let's get out of here. All right. Pretty good for not having all the items we would uh, like, especially not the Kapala. That'd be pretty cool if I could win a run without the Kapala because uh, regenerating life is pretty good. It will be hard uh, to move on, kill vampires, for instance, without spike shoes because they're uh, really important to kill. Uh, all right, come on, buddy. All right. Okay, so we're looking for the munch... We don't need that. Uh, we're looking for the... We don't need that. We're looking for the munch munching of the... Uh, of the... I almost said the Sullophane? Uh, I'm talking about the Necronomicon, though. I don't know why I almost said Sullophane there. That's really weird. Um, yeah, okay, Snake, fine. Um, so there's that box. I definitely see that there. Okay, good. More bombs is fine. Uh, that's not bad. It's just not what I would be hoping for. Uh, that's... Pretty mediocre. All right. Uh, yeah, we definitely want to break this open. Ah, I didn't quite hit the right spot. I think I could have pulled off that sapphire. Um, that's fine. Ropes. All right. Well, we're not for want of ropes. Spring shoes. Bombs. All right. So that could have been better. All right. Let's check out what's going on downtown. Uh, is what the snowman said. To I don't even know what I'm saying. Okay. This looks like the Munch Munch area. Let's mark it with a rope since we have so goddamn many. Um, all right. Formulate a game plan. I think we're just going to go with the usual. Remember, I do not have climbing gloves. That changes the approach, I would say. Uh, I don't see any crates down there either, though. Um, all right, that's weird. I don't like that asymmetrical blip on the plan there. Come on, buddy. Make these go away. Okay, fine. Uh, all right. So, as I mentioned before, I do like to level the playing field. If I were really obsessive compulsive, I would make sure Olmec, like, blew up every possible block to make sure that I got all these gems. I think that might be insane. Uh, and I don't think you want to watch me painstakingly do that. I certainly don't want to do it. Um, we aren't going to be getting a ton of blood gifts here. That's what I like to call blood. Uh, I mean, just in general in my life, I call blood blood gifts now. Um... Yeah, there's no way to climb up there, though. That's kind of stressful. Because I'm used to normally being able to hit the wall there. Uh, and I can't do that now because, again, lack of climbing gloves. Not to complain like a lunatic, but... Okay, fuck you. Yeah, come on. What do we... Really? Okay, fine. Uh, it's funny you can, like, kind of shoot the rope. What's happening? Or, am I hitting the rope with bullets? I don't think so, because it would probably fall apart. Um... Maybe... I'm not sure. I, I don't have anything to say. I'm not hitting it with bullets. Is the wind of the bullets blowing the rope? It could be. Seems unlikely. Let's bring this gentleman over here. Uh, Alright, that's fine. And now you can do a crush, crush, double move, double combo, wham, wham, bam, kabloom. Okay, and even left some gold there for me. Great. Um, okay. Okay. Bring him over here. I'm going to have him smash over here once, and then I'm going to go get that gold, I think. Okay, good. Yeah, smash there too. Why not? Can't hurt. All right. Didn't make any monsters. I'm okay with that. Extra thousand. Can't complain. Um, yeah! Let's take it down another notch. Bring it up another notch. Kick it up another notch. Uh, hopefully Emerald doesn't sue me based on that. I have a feeling that Emerald Lagasse is a big fan of the channel. Uh, I, I don't even know what monster that was. Uh, I killed it so quickly. The shotgun. Draw! I always thought I would be really good, like, in real life at, um, like, old western style shooting. Uh, I just always had that feeling. I could have made him pound there, but I didn't. All right. Uh, do I want to even out this a little bit more? I could see wanting to do that. But I also am nervous always, perpetually, about getting crushed into that wall. Um, yeah, just crush there. I know, we lose that emerald. That's okay. All right. That's fine. Let's fire some random warning shots off the bow. 
I'm getting kind of nervous in this. Actually, I'm feeling rather calm. I don't know why I even said I was feeling nervous. I'm not. Um, I kind of felt like this run was going to be a disaster, but it's working out okay somehow. Um, yeah, come on. We're going to next level ship right here. All right, there we go. So what kind of level of magic players are you guys? I see a guy named Megaphone69 post occasionally with humorous quips. I'm not sure if he posts anymore. Um, that could be a magic player that I'm vaguely familiar with. Uh, if it is, let me know. I mean, I know a lot of you are magic players, but that could be like a well-known streamer, grinder type magic player. Not entirely certain about that. Um, just kind of curious who actually watches this inane shit. Okay, there we go. Come on, crush one more. Now we've got maximum symmetry here. Uh, not really, but somewhere near that. All right. Come on, buddy. Uh, I kind of don't know why I did that. I don't like this. Okay, that's fine. It worked! Okay. Uh, okay, cool. I think there was one on the other side. I don't know what it is. Okay, it's a frog. Okay, it should be done now. Okay. To do this right, you have to do it slowly. That's, like, really the temptation is to try and do it really quickly. And the inevitability is death when you do that. It's just very hard to do this quickly. Um, in my personal opinion. I know other people can do this, like, rapid fire, like, back and forth thing. It's possible to do, but it just strikes me as incredibly inconsistent. Uh, it makes me very nervous. Uh, I don't know why I had a pound there. That was kind of a bad place, I think. Uh, shouldn't have done that. Should have started over on the edge. Not quite ready to work my way down to that area yet. You know what I mean? Uh, we can actually pick up that ruby. Um, I'm not going to make that a priority, though. Uh, we can pick up the sapphire, maybe, too. Yeah, unless he pounced it right here. Okay, but he didn't. Eh, he'll pound it right here, though. No, he didn't! Good for you, Ol. That's my nickname for Olmec. All right. Uh, so that worries me. What tends to happen to me is I get caught in with a bunch of these shitheads, these monsters in, like, a little crevice, and if I don't move quickly enough, I get fucked. Like, there was a speed run where I almost pulled it off, I think, doing, like, a really quick... Um, anxiety-inducing, like, speed Olmec battle. Oh my god, that snake almost hit me. Since we don't have the Kapala, stuff like that really matters. Um, you know what? I think it's time to make this happen, folks. We're gonna start the descent into madness. Um, I don't know why I did that this way. That's weird. See, I did a, I did a weird thing. I guess I'm just trying to waste bombs. I would like to get Vlad's amulet, so I did that sort of stupidly. Um, okay. I didn't even maximize the gold I could get here. Yeah, that seems worth getting. Alright. That should do it, I think. Okay, buddy, come on. Let's ride this horse down. Nice. Come on, come on, come on! I'm always nervous a lava guy is going to knock me off. Okay. So, we are in hell. Um, and you are probably in hell as well if you're watching me this far in. Alright, we are going to... We're going to shoot those devil assholes. Uh, Kali accepts your sacrifice. Uh, I hope that was not from these devils, because... If it wasn't... Yeah, it was. Okay. Uh, what am I hoping to accomplish by doing this? Nothing. Okay. So that cape, is that from a vampire that fell there? Or what? what is it from? <laughs> okay. That worked. That... Okay. This is what we call ultimate greed and carelessness. All right. So this guy, yeah, why not? I mean, he's there. He's going to be a corpse in a minute. Um, set this uh, here. Try not to trigger Vlad just yet and make some more corpses. Being ever conscious of how much time uh, we have taken up. All right. Um, yeah, I'm going to blow up those spikes. That's fine. Let's do it this way. I think we might be able to, yeah, kill Vlad in the explosion. I have no problem with that. Uh, and we can pick up these sexy gems, too. Uh, also no problem with that. Okay. 
Um, no corpse to bring down there. Is this dog a dog or a succubus? I think it's a succubus. And I was right. All right. Uh, that's bad. Let's not get two of them going at once. Three of them going at once? Jesus Christ. Um, I might be able to do something super fancy here. Let's see if I can fucking do this. Nope, he went the wrong way and he exploded. Okay, that's fine. It's time to move on. If we can't get the Kapala here, such as fucking awful... Yeah, that I love those guys when they do that. Okay, that's fine. Um, that gem seems uh, worth it to me for some reason. I must be delusional. Um, all right. There's a demon in here that we could pick up and take up to the altar. That seems like the sort of thing that's worth my time. Um, okay, now we got a ghost coming uh, without, you know, not too surprisingly. All right, the spectacles. Uh, yeah, that's what I was fucking hoping for. Okay, we're, if we found the dog and it was easy to take him to the altar, we would do it. Unfortunately, we are looking at a situation. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, this is bad news. Okay. Um, okay, I think due to the shift in music, I just determined that um, the shopkeeper died through some means of which I am unsure. We have zero bombs? I used them all? Oh, I should have been paying attention. Um, okay, fuck you, vamp. Oh, look at these shits. Okay, so we're down to zero uh, bombs. That's not good. It means we can't bomb through passages. We can't kill shopkeepers with bombs. Uh, and we can't use bombs on the uh, last part of the game to kill things we need to kill. Uh, like that horse head ox man. All right. I didn't mean to do that, but I got very scared there for a minute. Okay. Okay, good. We just murdered a lot of vampires. We're like a regular fucking Van Helsing here. Okay. The one on the right is fake. The one on the left is real. All right. Uh, you can tell by how quickly and frequently they howl. And we're going to try and fucking combo this guy to... Oh, shit. Come on, fireman. Go up. Ah, you idiot. I'm talking to myself, not the fireman. The fireman did everything he was supposed to. Um, all right, good. Hey, asshole, what are you doing over there? Hanging out with the... Fuck you. Where the hell did he go? He just bounced on like a dick? Oh, Jesus. Okay, okay, okay. Um... Yeah, I mean, why not take the dog the exit, unless there's a uh, an altar here. Oh, that was fucking shitty. All right. Uh, I don't see an opportunity for any more bombs, so bring you over here. I don't want to get comboed by a fake dog succubus. I'm not into that sort of thing. Uh, I am into randomly bouncing around lava pits and spikes and one-hit kills just to, you know, be a little bit greedy and see if we can pick up a stray gold bar, but it's enough of that. We're going to move on. Uh, this is kind of an intense one, especially the zero bomb marker. That kind of scares the hell out of me. Um, all right, can we make it through this? I'm already a little anxious about this little area over here. Okay, that's the real dog, and we're not... Oh, fuck. Okay. Let's just not do anything. Okay, that dog corpse we may still be able to sacrifice in the altar, should we feel so inclined. Uh, we don't need to worry about firemen anymore. Um, I mean, they are heroes and all, regular heroes, not like superheroes. Uh, our rescue services, whatever. Um, okay, I think that the shopkeeper is probably already dead as well. Uh, that's fine, yeah, we'll take that gold piece. All right. Just move on. Fireman. Oh. Okay. Um, I have a feeling this... Yeah, we're not going to be able to kill that guy. Well, we could... We could do this. Uh, that's probably going to... Really? Fuck you! Kapala. If I'd waited, I would have gotten like another item like the spike shoes here. Um, definitely make a corpse by killing a man. There's the uh, shopkeeper. 
Yeah, that seems to be a pretty easy position to, you know, get his corpse for fun. Alright, what's going on over here? Bad. Alright, I'm actually gonna do this. Uh huh. Ah! Okay, we're gonna leave that last gold bar there. Uh, time... Uh, time to... Yeah, this is also safe. Um, you know what? Why get the Kapala at this point? I'm on the last level, I say, as I go and retrieve immediately another corpse. Out of greed. No Kapala. That's it. We've sacrificed enough bodies. There's a dog body up there. That could be the body that gets me the Kapala. But aside from getting this gem, my greed time is over. All right, time to go battle Yama. All right. Cool. Cool beans, people. This is a long one. I'm sorry I had to sit through all this shit. Uh, yeah, it's your throne. I hope you have fun on it. Um, how does Yama give birth? I mean, by that I mean, does he have sex? I bet he doesn't. Uh, if he did have sex, where would he have it? Would he have it on his throne? Is Kali his wife, or is Kali a competing god? I actually get the sense that Kali is a competing deity. Um, hey, you know what? I'm gonna kill this. Because I'd rather not die like that. Not like this. Not like... Not like this. Not like this! Not like this! Okay. Where is that guy? I don't know where that guy is. That was a bad bomb. Um... Okay, that's fine. Just triggering as many uh, problems as possible. Remember, no climbing gloves. Um, picking up all these in case I die, then I increase my score and look a little bit ballsier. Is that vampire still just floating around up here? Did he, like, fall in the lava or something? Is he still up here? I don't see that, dick. Okay. There's our pair of spike shoes. All right. Okay. That's fine. Come on, keep pounding it. Yeah, keep doing it. I don't want to stop him until that vampire is dead. It looks like he's comboing his own vamp buddy. And I'm willing to let that happen. Okay, come on, keep comboing. Do it again. Yeah! That's right. Okay, that's enough of you, Yama. Your hands are going to come off, and your face is going to come off. And it's not going to stop coming off for a while. There, it's dead. Blow up your other arm, because that's the sexy thing to do. Now we're going to take out this motherfucker. Okay, good. We're going to pick up our pair of spike shoes. Now it will be easier to kill vampires if they are under me. Which might happen here. Okay, great. That'll be something we have to uh, account for as we approach the exit. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Go to hell. All right. We're already there. <laughs> okay. Uh, he's got a cool belt. I would wear that belt were I to have the opportunity to wear belts like that. Uh, they were in, like, in the uh, late uh, 2000 aughts. Like, women wore belts like that. Uh, I didn't like them originally, but then, you know, I came around to them. But I, that's probably just, uh, you know, a phenomenon of, uh, you know, being accustomed to something for a while and then liking it in the end. Are we going to get that gem next to those spikes? Those are the sorts of questions that I ask myself at this point in the game. Are we, are we really going to do that? Um, yeah, you can die. How about you don't die in an explosion here, AJ? Um... What's going on up here? Is there, like, a vampire is going to come and crush me? Um, I don't see one? Okay, yeah. Let's get away from that. Okay, you just dropped your shotgun, but you probably don't need it. Um, don't want to get killed by that. Okay, we're going to leave our shotgun here. We don't need to take it with us. I don't think I can get hit here. Or up here. All right, see you guys later. Ba bam! Um, I don't know if that's a new high score for me. It might be.
Um, and this is what happens when Yang makes it to hell. There's nobody there already to talk to him. So we solved that problem, I guess. Was this episode 69 or is this 70? I think it's 70. And I uh, should celebrate Thanksgiving by offering some of this gold, this fake gold, to anybody who wants it. Um, all you commenters, this gold is for you. Just reach into the screen and take it. Don't, no, you bumped your knuckles. You didn't do it right. You have to do it like Mike TV does it. All right. So, thir uh, I was going to say 1,300,000. I don't think people talk that way. Sorry for the length on that one. Holy shit. So, uh, yeah, I'll be remembered as a hero. Uh, I will make sure to skip this and then look at our leaderboard position. Five! Oh, man. And it's still the... What the hell else did everybody do? I guess I could have ghosted more things. How much did we get beaten by? That's what I want to see. Not as much this time. Okay, so here's the top eight, it looks like. This guy beat us by a good 300,000, which leads me to believe an additional vault was ghosted. I think, did I ghost all the vaults? I don't remember. Or it could have been every other possible gem imaginable was vaulted, ghosted, whatever. Um, these other guys were in attainable score zone, though, I have to say. Um, I feel pretty pleased with that performance. And, uh, looks like John fucking Zoidberg. <laughs> John fucking Zoid douchebag? Alright. So, I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching and supporting the series. I will be partitioning my hard drive very soon. Barf, barf.